Everybody, it's you Flocka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we will be doing a top 10. You guys know on Mondays we do not get any sort of content. So on days like this, I like to get out the top 10s or set up a video kind of setting around like the best of what's in Madden Ultimate Team at the time. And today we have top 10 wide receivers. We just did quarterbacks if you guys want to go check that out. Today, wide receivers is probably the hardest list in this game to make right now. I think it is the most stacked position right now in Madden 22. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of good wide receivers that did not make this list. And there's a lot of good receivers that are maybe questionable to you on this list, but this is my personal top 10. I think I've played enough games to get a good adjustment on this. I use most cards for games plays as you guys know but Devin Hester will not be included in this video I know everybody has him by now but I will not be including him in this video these are going to be all cards that are auctionable and you can go buy him on the market even the Tyreek the free Tyreek I think he could be either eight through nine through 10 maybe on this video he will not be on this video as well but anyways if you guys enjoy videos like this make sure to smash that like button let's get right into number 10. we take your gameplay to the next level make sure to check out civil.gg to look at the two membership plans right here for the best ebooks inside of the game use code chew for 25 percent off number 10 we have tj i am not even gonna butcher his name i do i have no clue how to pronounce it personally i know a lot of people do obviously he was a popular player back in the day i do not know how to pronounce his name 89 speed though very solid it's nothing too crazy that's why you see him a little lower on the list but he has great excel as well 89 88 catching 90 catching traffic 90 short so he hits a threshold there 88 medium 87 deep 87 spec catch in the 90 release when powered up is very very solid he's really good after the catch too in 90 ball carry vision he doesn't get any oh he'll hit 90 juke move which is solid and he is a slot receiver meaning he'll get slot matic for cheap one of the best abilities in the game and i think he's really popular in the game right now not only does he have the best hair in the game basically troy palomalu's hair it looks like a lot longer too because i i don't know it, it, it is really long out there you can tell he's out there when you see him but he also goes in some of the best theme teams Bengals obviously is not that good he gets a times three for the Bengals, but he goes into the seahawks the ravens and the raiders those three are amazing. You guys can see right here, three of the best team teams in the game right now. Raiders, obviously, is number one, and he goes right into there. TJ's a really good card. Nine, we have Josh Cribs, another team diamond, 90 base speed, 91 excel, so he's already faster off the bat. He is six foot one. 87 catching 88 catching traffic and an 86 spec catch he doesn't hit any of the short or medium thresholds but he does hit that deep threshold so he's more of a deep guy for you he they changed him from a returner to a deep threat i think they took return out of the game because even Devin hester didn't get it and obviously josh cribs i am a brown fan he was basically a returner as well he did play receiver but no one knew him for his receiving ability. It was He was strictly a returner on the Browns. Josh Cribs, though, I mean, this guy is a goat. He is, he's, a, he's a goat after the catch. That's really what it is. You guys know, like I just said, he was a really good punt returner, kick returner. 92 juke move, 90 change of direction. So that's plus five on TJ. 91 break tackle and 88 spin. Get the ball in this guy's hands. He will make plays for you. Josh Cribs, really good card in this game. He is my number nine. Number eight, we have Safan Diggs. The reason why this card is amazing, amazing, amazing. I just don't like his speed that much in the game, especially for his price range. I know I don't like to value price range too much into it, but 89 speed is very, very solid. It's solid, solid, solid. But we have so many guys with higher speeds or just even plus one on him or even maybe there's a, there's a couple guys with plus two on him. But 91 Excel is really good. 88, 89 catching, 89 catching traffic. Both will be above 90 when powered up. So hit that threshold for catching traffic and catching and spec catch. He also, it's all three thresholds for the short, medium, and deep route running and the release. So this is the only receiver in the game that hits a threshold for every single receiving stat. Savon Diggs is a very good card. Even the best archetype in route running. He is only six foot. I swear he was six foot one last year, Madden 21, unless I am completely drawing a blank i i don't know i did have his i remember i had his first ltd and i swear i swear i swear or he didn't even have an ltd it was like a team of the week i think maybe i don't even remember but he i swear he was six foot one i don't know i might be tripping here but he is a really good card savon Diggs is always going to be a really good card i just wish he was a tiny bit faster with these stats number seven we have perhaps the most slept on card out of the team diamonds promo ahmad rashad he's one of the cheapest receivers when you look at the 90 overall receivers and trust me, trust me, trust me. I love this card. He is 
by far my favorite receiver in the game he's definitely not the best even on my team but he is so fun to play with 90 speed 90 excel 91 agility 87 catching 86 catching traffic and 90 spec catch 87 short 86 medium and 88 deep he doesn't hit any thresholds there but he is six foot two and he's amazing after the catch as well all 90 plus here except for the juke his spin move is 91 change direction 91 and break tackle 91 i love him after the catch he even does that animation if you guys know what i'm talking the Sean McCoy running with one hand animation. That is why I, I mean, I, I love after the catch guys, especially when they have good stats and they are a tall receivers as well. And definitely at that speed as well. Obviously he's only plus one on a digs, but 89, I think 89 speed receivers are going to get flushed away here within like the week or two, depending on what comes out. A modern shot, six foot two definitely helps as well. Being plus one speed, getting plus two inches on Stefan Diggs. I personally would rather have a shot on my team. For six, we have Andre Rice, and this is the guy. I mean, uh, this dude is on every single theme team in the game, and he's also a good receiver on top of that. 90 base speed, 91 excel. 90 catching, 91 catching traffic, 90 spec catch, 90 deep route running. His short and medium do not hit the threshold, but they are still very good. The reason why I do love him is he hits every threshold in the game while, or besides short and medium, while still maintaining a 90 speed. So he's basically plus one speed on Stefan Diggs while losing out on a little bit on the short and medium, but he still hits the threshold for all the catching and the deep. He is a really good card as well. Route runner archetype, like I said, goes in every theme team you guys can see. Colts, Falcons, Browns, Packers, Jags, Chiefs, and of course, the Raiders. I think the Raiders is the reason why this card is so expensive and everybody wants him. I mean, even like all these add up making this card more expensive because all the theme teams want to keep on buying this card, doing the set for this card. He is definitely worth it. You can see his power up is still 82,000 even after being in packs. Rice and man, this card is a beast. For five, we have Calvin Johnson. This is a card that I think a lot of people are starting to forget about or maybe even get bored of because I'm not seeing him much out here after the Team Diamond. 90 base speed, 89 Excel. I don't know why his Excel is a little bit lower. Usually it's higher. I don't know if, I, if that's just me, but 88 catching, 88 catch of traffic, 90 spec catch. He doesn't hit any of the short or medium thresholds, but he does hit that deep one. The great release as well, 90. You guys know he's not a really after the catch guy, but he does break tackles, 87 break tackle. Also 230 pounds at six foot five. He is really good. I mean, we all know him, Megatron. His height really does counter or makes up for a lot of the mixed stats after the catch. I mean, he's just really, really good. Calvin's just a really good card. He's always programmed to be very good in Madden. I swear, no matter no matter what card they give him, he's always going to play good. I guess you could say the same with, like, Randy Moss. There's a lot of, like, Bo Jackson. No matter what cards they give him, they're still going to be very good because of whatever they did to their programming calvin johnson's definitely a top five receiver in this game i have joey galloway believe it or not this card is still very popular on a lot of teams 91 speed so he's the fastest receiver on this video so far 511 deep threat he has 91 excel as well his stats are not the best down here he's really here for the speed but I, although i've noticed even using him despite like I'm trying to, like, I've never used the digs, but I've used cards like the Andre Ryson with the great threshold hitting everywhere, and I haven't really noticed the biggest difference ever, and it really seems like speed is king again this Madden, as we know it's king every Madden. Joey Galloway, and he is the speed guy, but I, you can't go wrong with this card as, as well. Get the ball in his hands, 88 juke, 90 change direction with 91 speed. Joey Galloway, man, he's a bomb throw as well. You saw in all the MCS tourneys, every single pro had this card on their team, and a lot of people still do. A lot of theme teams as well. He has the Washington football team, Patriots, Bucks, Cowboys, and Seahawks. Galloway is a beast. We have Jalen Waddle. I look at Jalen Waddle as a better Galloway. 91 speed 91 excel he has a little bit better stats down here just a tiny bit better it's very minuscule stuff 85 catching 88 deep 85 medium route running as well he's a lot better after the catch as well you guys can see he has 90 thresholds at all three stats Jalen waddle he's just another really fast guy and this guy's the i think a lot of people are switching over to waddle but the only thing with waddle obviously only one theme team that's why he's not as popular but I still do think I would prefer Jalen Waddle if it came down to a non-theme team. I'm picking the best available. Jalen Waddle is definitely my guy. At number two, we have Charlie Joyner. This card 
is very, very good. 91 speed. So he's tied with all those the fastest cards in the game. So Galloway, all those guys, they're all tied with him for being the fastest in the game. 90 speed or 90 Excel, 88 catching, 88 catching traffic, and 91 spec catch. This card's already looking like the best in the game. 91 deep, 90 medium, 87 short. I mean, he's hitting all the thresholds. He has all a high 80s if he's not hitting the threshold, unlike Jalen Waddle and Galloway, while still maintaining that speed. He's a slot receiver, so he gets slot automatic for cheap. He's only 5'11", but it's still a very good card because of all these stats all around. He also goes in a couple theme teams, the Titans, the Bengals, and the Chargers. I did switch over to a Titan theme team myself, and man, let me tell you guys, Derrick Henry and Joyner make that theme team very fun. But Joyner, man, he's a very slept on. He's a very good card. And at number one, I think we all knew this was coming. This is by far, I think, the best receiver in the game. He is six foot two. He is a route runner. Best archetype in the game. Very tall receiver and six foot two. Not very tall, but very good. I, I love six foot two and above. 92 speed, 91 excel. This is the powered up version, the LTD version. 92 catching, 91 catch of traffic, 91 spec, hitting all three thresholds. 89 short, he's not going to hit there, but 90. 91 medium and 92 deep is amazing with a great release and he has good after the catch stuff he has one of the best spin moves in the game he has the same spin move as reggie bush i mean he's he's just by far the best and his price definitely does show it as you guys can see right here yeah andrew k for an ltd very tough even looking at this card 400k and this card's been out for almost a month it feels like maybe two weeks three weeks maybe i'm dating it wrong but jerry rice is easily the best receiver in this game right now appreciate you guys sticking around to the end make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed the video let me know which what three wide receivers you are rocking on your team and which receiver was left off this list i already know i'm gonna get a lot of the julio comments 88 speed man i love julio one of my favorite players of all time but 88 speed and they took away his route running archetype and he doesn't hit a lot of thresholds they cheated julio they did i think everybody that's a fan of julio can say that as well but i appreciate you guys like i said again make sure to smash that like button i'll see you guys in the next one peace out boys